So where you said you'd like to start, Sal, is talking about your asthma mm -hmm. and specifically about your dog and how one is affecting the other. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, my asthma has just been out of control lately and my doctor says it might be connected to Oscar. Hmm. So what, can you let me know, or, or what do you know about your asthma and the things that affect it or might make it worse? Um, I've got allergy testing. It's just uh, the dust makes it bad. I thought the smoking was the main thing. That's mm -hmm. cut down. Um, and then they said the drinking might contribute to it too. So I got a lot of different things I'm working on. So that's what I know. Hmm. The drinking, the smoking, and the dust that I got the, um, the scratch test for. Right. And, and, and that's what I know and that I take the medicine for it. Okay. And that your pet has never been mentioned as a concern? No, I've had it for, for 12 years, and now it's a concern. I don't understand. Hmm. Yeah, and I, I can see that you've already worked hard to make some changes. You've almost quit smoking. Mm -hmm. You're just down to your last couple of cigarettes, mm -hmm. and you're not even smoking those in the house. Mm -hmm. So your house is totally smoke-free. Just at work with the boys. There. Yeah, okay. And you have also thought about cutting back on alcohol, mm -hmm. and, and I think you mentioned... Done, done a little bit towards that. Mm -hmm. I'm a little, I'm a couple down. I used to drink four a night. Now I'm down to three okay. at least. Okay. Um. So now, almost like that's not good enough. Like now you have to, now it's the dog. And, mm -hmm. if, and now what's next? What's next? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, there is certainly a lot of evidence that pets in the home and the dander from their fur can make asthma worse, mm -hmm. but I wonder what are your experiences with Oscar, you know, when he's in the house or, or maybe sleeping near you or you're around him, what happens with your asthma symptoms? Well, we keep him clean, like he's clean. So all the dander doesn't really make sense, but I have been noticing that sometimes when he comes on the bed or just beside, I wheeze a little bit, but I think it has to do with um, the hair the, the, um, in my lungs cleaning itself up from the smoking. Okay. So I don't know if it's, that, that's where I'm confused. I don't know how this could be happening. Hmm. So it doesn't make total sense to you that, that it's all Oscar's fault and that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that that's the only solution. But, but the wheezing is something that I've definitely noticed a little bit. I guess I also wonder whether regardless of, of if your asthma symptoms are connected to Oscar, that maybe part of you feels like it's worth it because he's been mm -hmm. such a big part of your life for so long. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I just want some medicine and I want to keep Oscar and I want to feel better about myself because I'm making all these changes in my life and it, it honestly feels like my, my nose is just above the water. Hmm. Yeah, and, and in the end, you know, whatever you, whatever you do about Oscar, about your asthma, about all the other things that we talked about on that agenda setting worksheet, I mean, you are in the driver's seat, Sal. It, it really is your choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, th that feels good that I, you know, at least I, it is my choice. I just feel like just about, I, I'm not feeling happy about just all these different things that are coming up. Um, and I'm kind of uh, sad about things. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I don't know what to do. There's a lot of decisions and a lot of change with your wife, with the new baby. Mm -hmm. And now thinking about looking after your health and wanting to be healthy for your wife and your baby. Mm -hmm. I, want, I want Giancarlo to grow up with Oscar so he has his friend when he's young too and um, I just, it's a lot of stress and a lot of things you, you gotta think about and um, I'm not feeling good about it. Mm -hmm. So what, what would need to happen or how would you know when you when or if you ever did have to make a decision about whether to keep Oscar with you or not? Man, uh, how would I know? I don't know. I think if my asthma got really bad and the medicine, if she gave me the strongest medicine and it wasn't working, mm -hmm. that would be the way right now because I can't see, I don't know how I'm going to give this dog up. Yeah. And I get the feeling that it's something that you want to think about that this is a really big decision mm -hmm. and it's not one that you're going to make in a hurry. No, no. It's something I got to just sit there and, and kind of um, put the pros and the cons on the table about but mm -hmm. 
something's going on.